Right, so because of um, audio problems, we didn't, me and um, Rainbow Parrot, or whatever, Jack, whatever you want to call him, we didn't get to um, record our Minecraft SP the other day, and I couldn't be asked to sort it out. So um, today we'll just be talking about um, a show that is exclusive to Netflix. I watched this when I uh, stayed at my mum's Saturday night, um, and it. Uh, um, it is called, uh, uh if, yeah, Disenchanted. Um, so, I just want to talk about to the show for a little bit, because this is, a, this is a little one I really didn't much about. So, um, if you've seen Futurama, you probably recognise the animation, because it looks extremely sim sim similar, if not pretty much exactly the same, to, fu the, to Futurama. Um, and I think it's even made by uh, the same people who made Futurama. It even has uh, some uh, some returning voice actors, uh, such as the King, who um, whose voice actor is the redneck hillbilly from space. Um, and yeah, this is actually pretty decent. It ma it made me laugh a few times, and yeah, I would definitely. Um, suggest watching it at least once so if you enjoyed Feature Armor. Um, I'm not going to go too much into spoilers right now, I'm just going to talk about the characters. Right. So, first, I want to talk about the princess here. Um, she is basically a drunk Leela that likes to party. Well, a drunk Leela who. Is you know, part you know, part is also a party animal, and you know, um, uh, and there's a couple of times in the plot where it's just like, uh, where her entire goal in the episode is uh, just to get laid or a boyfriend or whatever, you know, um, now one like being as it starts out with her trying to not get married, but anyway. Um, she is accompanied by, uh, um, a little devil, which she is, uh, now uh, cursed with, called Lucy, and an elf called Elfo. And, uh, um, that horse actually doesn't make appearance, he, um, randomly laughs. Um, and yeah, it does have a few good jokes. The animation is solid, it's, like I said, it's... Uh, Pretty much the same animation as Futurama, bit updated. Um, some of the retaining voice actors, which are always good, but it still feels a little bit weird hearing the space redneck voice coming out of the king. It is a little bit off putting. Like, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty much the same voice. Um, if I. Uh, and the only real criticisms I do have of the show is that it does fall into one or two cliches, such as Elfo is pretty much the idiot, and sometimes he can be too stupid. Like, um, uh, in the first episode, you know, he leaves his home, and then he sees um, the kingdom, that's the castle, the, not the entire kingdom, um, in uh, the uh, background, and he's standing in the foreground, and he's just like, "Wow, that's small." Wait, no, it's just far away. And it's just like that was a moment of him just being too stupid. Like, yes, he is a he is a, is a, like how is a, is is naive and a bit dim-witted, but he still should have the basic. He should know that things are far away. Looks smaller than when they're actually up close. You know, he shouldn't be that stupid. And thankfully, I think that's one of the few times he actually was that stupid. Um, but yeah, it, uh, uh, if I had to describe this show in, a, in as few ways as possible, I would describe it as medieval Futurama. And being as I loved Futurama... Um, and I think Futurama is one of the best comedy shows that Fox has ever heard. That is a compliment. Like, if the worst thing I can say about it 
is that it, it's bait? Well, it's not really bait. Anyway, if if my description of it is that it feels like um, a good shirt, it feels like a good shirt, a show that was good, but to set in a different uh, theme. But yeah, that's not a bad thing. Like it's like I said, if you like Futurama, get check, give it a try. Um, there's not too many retaining cat voice actors to make it um, off-putting. Like. Um, I f like the, there was a space hillbilly, and I think one of the one of the voice actors for one of the um, scammers we t uh, was in this, as a guy with the hat, um, the kid, royal advisor guy. He, I think he he was voiced by one of the scammers, I think. But there's there's not too many returning voice actors to make it off-putting. Well, definitely, there's none definitely as off putting as the king. Like, the guy who sounds like the scammers from Futurama, well, I would do with me, does sound a lot like him. It is a bit off, and it's, and even for me, it's just like, is he a scammer? Is he not a scammer? I don't know. But, um, yeah, they're not too off putting. It's quite enjoyable. Um,. Not the best thing ever, and de definitely not as good as like a future armor, but still decent. Give it a watch. Um, if I had to rate it out, out of 10, I would give it a uh, 7 out of 10. Slightly above average. But yeah, I'll um, see you guys in the next video. Um, and if you do check us out, or have seen it, Put down in the comment section on how you what you thought of it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.